truck this week. I think we're only going out for at least Saturday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so five days before I drop off some of my passengers. Maybe not all of them, but I'm getting some new steer tires. Mostly because my shop told me that they were bad, which is not true. I knew they were bad, <laughs> but uh, they confirmed that I was not wrong. And, uh, so here we are buying new tires after I already spent $2,700 in the shop. Status update, co-pilot. Just hooked up to a trailer, slid tandems, uh -huh. panicked about an air leak that wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, right. Ended up just being the blow-off valve on the uh, the tank. But yeah. As far as we know so far. We're ready to uh, hit the road. Yeah, we're ready to go. Ooh, God, you, there's the sun. You see the sun? It's right there. It's very bright. It's very bright. We're getting ready to get out of here now that we're all done. They're probably wondering where we're going. Are you a hot dog? Are you a hot dog? You're panting like you're a hot dog. Are you excited? Are you excited or just hot? Why are you looking at me like that? Mom, why are you talking about me? What's the face for? Can you lay down? <laughs> <laughs> shop again. Uh, what are we doing? We're retorquing? Yes. We're retorquing the nuts. We're gonna torque in some nuts because that's what you do when you get new tires. You should bring them back and to make sure they're all tight. It's kind of like load checking, right? It's kind of like load checking. Except it's less distance. Except it's le way less distance. Oh no, you have to check your load within the first 50 to 100 miles when you first pick it up. So it's similar. Okay. I, I think that's I, the I rule. It, was 125. it might be 125. You might be right. It's been a long time since I pulled fly bed, so I don't know anymore. At least it's nice out. It's not got rain. Yeah. Not got wood. ELDs are communist. Yes, very communist. I mean, okay, so there's there's so many arguments about ELDs and blah blah blah, right? I should probably turn this down. So, um, like, I understand that ELDs don't work for everybody, and I know they're not great um, for a lot of people, and they're causing a lot of accidents because people don't know how to use them, which really sucks. Um, but I feel like the main reason I enjoy my ELD is one, my logbook is just which is great. Um, but then the other thing is, um, if I don't have any hours to drive, I don't have any hours to drive. There's no, oh, well, can you just like fudge your book here and then you can fix it later? None of that with a dispatcher or a broker or whatever. Like if you just don't have hours, you just don't have hours. And that's, that's the protection of that logbook that I really like. But I can understand where people would be mad because they're used to running 
run a certain way, they feel, they, they don't run on a schedule that the, the way that the logbook wants you to run it, and I get that, like, I understand why, why there are people that are mad about that, but at the same time, like, there are other people that need that kind of protection so that they don't drive exhausted too, so there's a little bit of both ways on that. truck for the night. There's cat, the cat box. The bed still is a mess so we have to get through all that. Steve is outside with Jeff right now. I am babysitting the cat because I don't want him to jump out of the truck. Uh, that's my status update. We're going to bed and we'll do this again tomorrow. And that's, that's that. So yeah, I'm gonna go finish setting up, put in some screens so that he doesn't jump out. And uh, We'll go from there. Where you going, Jed? Where's your donut? Uh oh. Oh no! Did you lose your donut? Oh no! I guess we should go to work. Can I see? Am I driving first or are you driving? I don't think the state would like that. Which state? Any of them. They froze. Oh no! Our breakfast is frozen? Uh, are they all frozen? Two of them are frozen. Two of them are okay. Okay, so I guess we're having two hard boiled eggs. How is the fish? Also frozen. That's what happens when the fridge is really full, is stuff starts to freeze. Yeah. <sighs> what is it, Jet? What's he doing? Is he cleaning the window? Yeah, we're gonna have clean windows. Doing jet? Are you playing with your brother? Is he grumpy underneath the blanket? I think his food dish is up in his cubby.
make a happy cat disappear. Yep. And there he goes. Bye, Spike. trailers in the middle of the night which is lovely not really we did all the swapping it before sunset um, but we're leaving I wanted to show you a, a fire that some locals believe is arson <laughs> it's uh, pretty bad I didn't come in this way I came in another way so let's go ahead and spin this bad boy around and get out of here whoop we're uh are you excited we're gonna go pick up our next pickup, which is then delivering to a Home Depot, which is exciting. I haven't been to this Home Depot distribution center. I've been to a couple other ones, but not this one. What's up, Jet? Here, do you want your window? There you go. Yeah, this building looks like it burned. Just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. It's interesting now that it's daylight, you can see how much of it's really missing. Oh yeah. Woo. Okay, so we have checked in, we have arrived, all of the lovely stuff. I walked all the way around this building to door number 10 to go check in, to play around and around again. Okay. And uh, the guy in front of me didn't have the pickup number, but he took his info and wrote him down. It looks like he wrote him down, maybe. I doubt it. I think I cut in front of him, but I felt bad. I was like, are you sure? I can wait for you to get your pickup number. I understand how that goes. So anyway, the guy took my pickup number, no problem. And then, uh, said when you see this truck pull out of door four then uh you may also pull into door four i was like all right cool cool that's awesome um let's hit this tree sound good sweet tree i got trees in a window we i wanted to make sure that this guy had enough room to get out that's all we because uh this is what we're dealing with here is uh this line there are a lot of people there are a lot of people here <laughs> um so yeah, this is uh this is our this is our thing. Um oh god. Yeah, move H H V H A. Pudja Budja Budja. Is that how you say that? He's trying to back in. You see he's like, oh no, I should move. That way he can back in better. Yep, I'm gonna swang. I'm gonna swang right into him. Swung, swing it. Swang. <laughs> Flying sounds so much cooler. Uh, I like it when your eldest does that. You try to tell her how to pronounce a word, and she's like, yeah, but I'm gonna say it this way. <laughs> and all I can think is, child is not how you're supposed to say it, but I respect that. Because <laughs> I do the same thing. All right, well, if he's getting in, I'm gonna pull up just a little bit. So there's one, two, three trucks in front of me. I don't know that they all have door assignments, and I'm just waiting for, there's a blue truck that I'm waiting to come around this corner. There's another like six or seven doors. 10 technically because I went door 10 is over there right. um, the door we're going to be pulling into is inside a garage so that's the thing okay. I feel a little bad because I'm cutting but at the same time like my door is ready he gave me a door uh, I guess we're gonna go up and over <laughs> like that other guy did probably why this is all rock and I wonder why I screw up my drive tires plenty of grass over there. If they would have put the pallets further out, there would be a full driveway here. Shh. Your logic, Steve. Womp. Womp. Sorry, 
guys. Sorry, most of you aren't even paying attention. But anyway, here we are. We're gonna bag into door number four. You ready, Steve? Yep. Let's do this. Thousand pounds. It feels more like 19. That's what the paperwork says. 18,951 pounds. So let's go drop off some carts to the depot. Not the orange ones or the blue ones. Oh wait, are they orange at the depot? Orange, orange. Ah, we shop at Lowe's. We don't shop at the depot. We don't support them. But we will move their freight and take their money. <laughs> they better have an empty for me. They have a reputation of not having empties. Let's uh, carry on. And uh, I think go visit a bathroom. That sounds like a good idea. I got problems. We gotta fix those. They 
they wrote an article on this website about how they were uh. making the players If you want to get Steve to do work, put him in a truck. What do you mean? You work so hard when you're in this truck. Well, yeah. Because then whenever I'm done with regular work, I work on like our website. But it makes it sound like I don't do work when I'm not in the truck, which is not true. He works harder when he's in the truck, though. Because he has nothing else to do. Is that a problem? I'm just saying pro tip. Hey, thanks, Tom. It should be in the middle. In the middle? On the bottom. Yeah. So it says zero. Thanks for checking the microphone, Steve. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Thanks, Tom. This is a dangerous tunnel. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, yeah, this is the one where you, like, come out on a hill and there's a giant curve. Uh huh. Yeah, the dangerous one. Also known as Allegheny Mountain. Christ Almighty. Thomas. He really wants you to know. He really wants me to know. I appreciate it. All right, let's do this tunnel thing. Get ready. Here we go.
o'clock on 7 30. 19. Yeah. Yeah, that's today. Yeah. Yeah, poor guy. I hope he figured it out. Looks like a Ferris wheel. Say, don't tell Jet. He ran across the parking lot with the bobtails. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jet. Jet's gonna miss you. Yes. He always misses you when you leave. But you are taking Spike? Yep, and his cat grass and some cat food. I don't know what he did to that cat grass. He like, gave it a mohawk. So apparently he's into 90s hair fashion. That seems fitting for Spike. Oh, I'm sorry, Jet. Your dad has to go home. Yep. What? Are you hungry? Is it time for breakfast? Is this time for breakfast? Are you hungry? Yeah, we're gonna make you special breakfast. Did you have fun? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, would you come out again? Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10? Would do again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this trip was good. We actually had really good weather. I was surprised. Normally it's like oppressive in here in the summer, but we got lucky with We did pretty good. Being able to have the windows open and. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to work and keep working. Okay. You can go home in your tiny little car in the parking lot. And that's that. I'm a... Okay, gang, I'm shooting this on like a really fancy lens and it's like a $500 lens and I'm really excited. This is one of the rentals that I rented for vacation. We are literally leaving for vacation today, which is Wednesday, no, tomorrow. Today's Tuesday. <laughs> Tomorrow, the 21st of August, we're leaving for vacation. So you're watching this like four days later. Four? I don't remember what day these come out on. Anyway, I really wanted to tell you guys that A, the video's over. Sorry, huh? it's over. The other thing I wanted to tell you is that we are on our way out west. So Thursday, Friday, and maybe a little bit of Saturday. It should just be Thursday and Friday. We're driving out west to go to Arches and the Grand Canyon and a slot canyon in Page, Arizona. So if you see the RV on the way back, because I know that we've already gotten out there, you may see us out there, which would be super cool. But if you see us on the way back, we're taking Oscar and we're taking the bike trailer. So it's a big black trailer with a big Octo on the back. You can't miss it. So if you wanted to say hi, just make sure that you like really lay on that horn and like honk a bunch of times, maybe flash your lights and wave enthusiastically so that I know that you're actually saying hi and not just being a tool bag and telling me to get out of your way. I understand that too. Hmm, what else did I want to tell you while I have this ridiculous lens? I only have these for like two weeks, so I'm really stoked. It's beautiful. I got it for astrophotography, so this should be really cool. Postcards for September are coming out soon, so if you wanted a postcard for September, I highly recommend that you sign up now because it's it's coming due. Like, those cut off somewhere around the 31st or 30th of the, at the end of the month, like the last day of the month they cut off. So go ahead and get your postcard while you can because I can't help you after that. It's a picture that Steve took. If you wanted to see some Steve photography, then the postcard for next month will be super cool. But the rest of them for this year are actually really cool. So I recommend getting those because they're cool. It's not that I just want your $4. They're actually like rad postcards. I think that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for supporting us. We really appreciate it. Um, you can like and subscribe if you want to. It's no skin off my back if you don't. I'm not that kind of pressure person. It's not a big deal. But I'm gonna get going because I have a lot of work to do and I have this to edit and I'm really glad this is third time's a charm. I'm really glad I opened the box with all of my lenses because this is a beautiful lens. I already love it and I already want one. <laughs> so I'm getting out of here guys. I will talk to you later. Thanks so much. K-Bike Squad!